Alright. In turn, it's just me in Germany here now. Oh, well, what do you know? That got puppeted. Alright. We're done. We can now resolve the peace conference. As they wish. We got all but two states. Which, with this retarded AI... About the best we could hope for. Cancel non-aggression pacts. Goes everybody. Conquer Rwanda. Conquer Cairo. I mean, I've made my uh, point. Ugh, fuck, I really shouldn't be trying to take Cairo, should I? No. We'll not go after uh, them. Uh, Rwanda isn't actually guaranteed by anyone. That's why war goal. Conquer Tanzania. And suddenly all of NATO doesn't want aggression, non-aggression packs with me anymore. China and the United States have divvied up India. Peace conferences are pretty terrible. Alright. I mean, I guess we get to build stuff now. Let's get to it, boys. We need a lot of factories. Yeah, enough with the canceling non-aggression pacts already. Fine, I guess we'll start here. Proved 3D manufacturing. Everyone else got government changed. Probably, yeah. Looks that way. Still a nuisance, to say the least, but, uh... Yeah. We, uh, we got some conquering to do, that's for sure. Like, you know, the rest of Africa. So, we can cut the fog of war now. Finally, the Third World War comes to its close. <laughs> Alright. China and Red Japan. Red Japan. Yep. So, aren't they supposed to leave NATO or whatever? Like, I'm pretty certain if you have someone who is of the wrong ideology in a faction... Like, the wrong ideology in the faction will leave. Although I suppose this mod could have changed that. Support the new Afghan government. Yeah. Mm hmm. SC negotiations. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, all these seem to require is faction leader. 
Is it Asian Alliance? Yeah, create faction AEDU. That just requires that. So eventually China will probably form its own faction. Like it hasn't chosen any of these yet, so it hasn't gone down this branch. Presumably it hasn't gone down this at all. And eventually they'll go down to Asian Alliance and get the AEDU. Hopefully. We can hope. Turn off Fog of War. Nah. Unfortunately, we're actually going to be partaking in a war soon. And not just sitting around waiting for, uh, you know, Japan to die. So, for the sake of not cheating, I'm going to have to keep the Fog of War off. I don't mind turning off the Fog of War to look at other places in the world, but, uh, yeah. So we'll start with these two. Then, I guess we'll just push south along the border here. Yeah. Take these two. Then we'll take one, two, three, four. Then we'll take one, two, three, four. Then one, two. And we'll have taken all of Southern Africa. Then we'll have to start pushing north. Once we have Africa united under one banner, won't be too hard. Neither they nor we are at war. Marxist-Leninist Iraqi state. I take it China government changed them. And then the U.S. is supporting the new Afghan government, which... Is actually a uh, all right puppet of the U.S. Fair enough. All right. Mm hmm. All right. Political balance. I like how this is... That is terrible, but alright. Carry on, I guess. Uh, modify government. Ourselves, we have the birth control policy. And that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this is minus 30 political power. This is China likes us, this is a few random countries like us. And this is we reduce our birth rate, which I think is a bad thing. I don't know about you guys, but I actively like our recruitable uh, pop growth. It's not terrible. Oh well. So, Tanzania. Hmm. How long is it going to be? 57, alright. And 57. So we're halfway there on both counts. Ugh. Part of the problem is this game is starting to get really laggy, too. Like, it's slowing down a fair bit, unfortunately. There's not much you can do about that. It is Hearts of Iron, after all. It is Hearts of Iron, after all. Alright, so one good solid push through Tanzania. They'll fall apart pretty quickly. Uh, the military factories are being built. Do we need to build more? Yeah, it would appear up along here. Oof. Didn't realize these places were so underdeveloped. Put these to the top of the list, then. Down there. We'll put this shit uh, up pretty high. So that way it gets finished just because it's close to being done. Alright. Just work on those areas, though. Because they'll take forever. 
There we go. I mean, we're not even using all of our military factories, but that's mostly because we have negative 100 steel. Then again, I suppose we aren't going to war with NATO for a while. So importing steel is possible at the very least. Good, upgrade that. Hmm. Let's see. Gen 3 IFPs. How much how uh, how close are we to Gen 4s of those, by the way? Yeah. Also apparently we need to research more techs. How close are we to those? Hmm? I want polyethylene body armor. Camouflage patterns. Basic gun missile, yeah. Um, mining's a thousand days. Advanced sim software. We'll grab it. That'll help. I mean, we're about done with the Gen 5 MBTs. Which is good. We only have one to research after that, and that's two years out. Stupid 18 years out of time penalty. We're still, unfortunately, also way out of Gen 4 IFVs, but we're working on it. We're working on it, as we do. Got to go soon. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Araman. I hope you enjoyed what, uh, what amount of the stream that you caught. Alright. So, I'm going to start ahead of time here. Call me, uh, call me overly ambitious. Start the, uh, next war as well up. Because we're going to need it. Hell. Just start justifying on everybody. You know, why not? We'll declare war on them all. Even if we aren't technically prepped and fully ready for them yet. Doesn't matter. We can probably take all of Southern Africa. I would wager. Swaziland, there we go. Hello, Kennedy. Okay. Mm hmm. I mean, I guess for the sake of completion, avoid international allegiance. <laughs> okay, an ad. Now hi again. Ah, <laughs> uh, ain't Twitch lovely. Alright. Yeah, we're not producing any nuclear bombs, though we do have one. I feel like at some point we'll just capture a nuclear reactor or something. Probably when we reinvade Israel. <laughs> Palestine's a puppet of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Alright, seven days until the invasion of Tanzania and Rwanda. Rwanda, who doesn't even have an army, so good luck to them. It's not gonna be not gonna be hard, I'll say that. Ethiopia, yep. You should take Italy for revenge. Someday. I mean we will uh we will invade NATO. That much I promise. But I want to unite Africa under my lines first. Once we've united Africa, then we can push out into the Arabian Peninsula. We'll eventually reach Turkey, and then from there, it's it right into NATO. Right into the heart of NATO. I guess you guys need an offensive line. That's also apparently an invalid offensive line. Okay, 
Okay, I was just flicking the wrong dude. Okay, there we go. Launch decks. Alright, Rwanda has capitulated. Done. I mean, the world tension is forever off the charts, so. B3D, you're done. 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 Alright, and Tazania instantly capitulated before the might of Mechdeath. Let's go to Angola next. The might of Mechdeath. It shall never be challenged. Also, don't we have five more of these? We do. Get them all hooked up. Bring them up. Good. Can you play Tall and Hearts around Fort? Not really. Unfortunately. Not really. Like, you can to a certain extent, but... You don't really get uh, the firepower to take on, like, the USA if you do. I mean, you can hold off, uh, say, Germany or something as the Netherlands. It's totally possible. I've done it. But you're not going to be doing, you know, you're not going to be getting much out of it if you're trying to play tall. All right. So... Angola. We got a score to settle with you next. For anyone wondering, by the way, my mech death brigades are consistent of 12 modern tanks and 10 mechanized infantry, along with a full set of support. These things have such ridiculous stats. There is, they're, they're just kind of amazing, actually. Like, Good lord. They cost a lot of MBTs, though. I'm not gonna lie. We could always use more of those. Could always use more of those. And I mean, we have the military factories. We should probably start uh, trying to pump them out. At least pump what we can out. Come on. There you go. Alright. And one more for posterity's sake, I suppose. We're still pumping out a lot of Gen 3s, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about the difference between Gen 3 and 4 yet. There. It's all that we can pump. We are pumping it. Good. Although we are in the pit like 200 steel. Um... Not bad, alright. What have you missed? Uh, not much. The war is over. We conquered Tanzania, Rwanda, and them. Egypt's a puppet, which annoys the hell out of me. We'll have to go to war with NATO for them. So, that's, that's the list. Polyethylene body armor. Excellent. Alright. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. 58 out of 105. So we're over halfway there. That's good. We've uh, started justifying on literally every nation down here, so it's not going to be too hard. Apparently, Angola has 9,100 divisions. Intel, can you please confirm this? Yes, yes, they do. Okay. Intel has confirmed it. Angola has perhaps a few too many divisions. Though I'm not particularly concerned. Like, they have more troops than I do, apparently. What the fuck is their population? Uh, 
They have service my requirement, so they've already gone pretty far. Yeah, it would appear that most of our opponents uh, at this point have gone full ham and are up to service by requirement. Except for South Africa, who's only at extensive conscription. Meanwhile, we're standing around on volunteer army. Because, you know, why not? 